Hey, what is up guys? This is the Dino Gamer back in the video. Today I'm going to make a very quick video talking about the newest species profile that Frontier recently released this morning for Jurassic World Evolution. And that species profile was of the Nasuda Ceratops, a dinosaur that I think people were speculating uh, earlier this summer. And honestly, this dinosaur came as a surprise. We honestly didn't, you know, expect a dinosaur like this. Literally, Frontier released a species profile this morning. Extracting Species Profile Nasutoceratops possess several unique features, including an oversized nose, exceptionally long curving forward-oriented horns, and an unadorned scalloped bony frill. And there you guys have it, the newest dinosaur for Jurassic World Evolution. I have to say, I think they did a really good job with the overall model of this dinosaur and design. I just think that the skin, uh, the default skin for this dinosaur is kind of bland. That's just my opinion, but that's how these dinosaurs usually are. Uh, you know, the default skin is not the best. So I'm hoping that they have, uh, you know, better skins in, in game. But, you know, who, I mean, that, that's just my opinion. If you guys like it, that's cool. But the best part of this dinosaur is the fact that it came in a free update, guys. That is right, this dinosaur is free. Usually these dinosaurs dinosaurs come in like packs that are worth like five dollars and you know I don't have a problem paying that I'm okay with it because to me it's worth it I really like paying for the dinosaurs because I really like the dinosaur packs but a lot of people really don't like them and I could see why they think that they think it's really cheap of Frontier to actually do that and they don't want them to because they don't want to feel like they have to pay for new dinosaurs all the time and and this just shows that we won't you know we will we'll get free dinosaurs and updates every now and again and it's really cool how Frontier literally you know gave us this update without warning they didn't release a species profile like a week before actually releasing the update they released a species profile the morning of releasing the update and I have to say that's really cool and literally like I think you could just go and update it right now I think that uh, at the time that I'm recording this which is the morning of August 27th I think you can literally update it right now the update is live I think I am not gonna do it right now because uh, I am a little bit in a rush I'm just trying to uh, make this a quick video because I do have class in a little while so I do apologize if this video feels rushed I just really wanted to get it out this morning and it's the only time I really have to do that so uh, when I saw the, the Studoceratops this morning when it was released uh, I, at first I thought it was supposed to be a battle at Big Rock kind of thing because the battle uh, you know the, the Studoceratops is one of the two dinosaurs that is gonna be in battle at Big Rock but then I thought well that wouldn't make too much sense because you know the Allosaurus is already in the game then I thought maybe it would have been cool I don't think they did this and I'm pretty sure they didn't but it would have been cool if maybe Frontier had released uh, an Allosaurus skin, maybe an unlockable skin, uh, where it is basically the same blue skin that the Allosaurus would have had in Battle at Big Rock. And I was, actually, I think that would have been a really cool idea, just like a Battle at Big Rock kind of a special update kind of thing. Uh, you know, I could see why they didn't do it because Battle at Big Rock ended up being postponed. So, you know, the timing doesn't seem completely right, but I think that would have still been cool. But, you know, the Nasuda Ceratops is still a really cool addition. It has been in other Jurassic World games, and it's just really nice to see that it's going to be in this one as well. And I don't know if this Nasuda Ceratops is going to be like a special kind of dinosaur in the game. Species profile, you know, didn't really say too much. Usually the species profiles are more of a synopsis on, you know, fun facts about the dinosaur itself. Not really about what the dinosaur can do in game you know I, I'm not sure if it's a dinosaur kind of like the iguanodon where it has maybe a special animation or whatnot um, chances are it's probably not because I feel like that kind of dinosaur would be releasing a pack that would cost money uh, whereas a dinosaur like this is probably just a new dinosaur with the same basic uh, you know animations and basically the same type of things that the other dinosaurs have so I'm, I'm not expecting anything different from this dinosaur or anything special but I, I feel like that would have been cool especially for something like the Nosotoceratops because I feel like maybe that could have been a good opportunity to make a new animation uh, I don't know a whole lot because I haven't played the game yet I'm just working off the species profile there's not a whole lot for me to talk about because you know the species profile again is only a synopsis of you know fun facts of the dinosaur overall so yeah I won't be able to find out too much until I down you know upload uh, oh god no update the game and play it uh, later today or tomorrow which that video won't be out for I wouldn't expect it out uh, you know 
some anytime today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. I'm just very busy. I just really wanted to make this video because I know that these videos are easier to make than my gaming videos and I could get them out quicker and at least this way I could be able to talk about the new dinosaur. So don't worry guys, later today I will try to record a, a quick episode of me uh, maybe, uh, you know, playing around with the Nasuda Ceratops and, uh, you know, testing its animations and, you know, looking at its skins and basically just reviewing the dinosaur overall and I'll try to get that video out as quick as possible. But until then guys, I just hope you enjoyed this one because that's pretty much it for now. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Jurassic World Evolution update stuff and other cool dinosaur stuff I post on this channel. That's all I have to say for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching and please have a nice day.